South Africa's former president Thabo Mbeki has called on warring Zimbabwean political leaders to put the interests of the country and the people ahead of their political ambitions. Without stating in actual terms, Mr. Mbeki, who was instrumental in brokering the unity government in Zimbabwe following disputed 2008 elections, has once again suggested that that route could be the one to go again this year. In an exclusive interview with the South African Broadcasting Corporation on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly in New York recently, Mr. Mbegi said the warring ZANU-PF and C should put the people ahead of their personal interests. Mr. President, when we talk about Zimbabwe, uh, your name does often come up, right? It, it tends to be synonymous in the South African context. Uh, we've had another disputed election. Observer missions have voiced their concerns. How do you see this process? How should this process play itself out? Well, I really don't know. This time I've not been very close to these uh, Zimbabwe processes, but as far as I knew, after the SADC observers had made their comments, virtually saying, as far as we are concerned, the elections were not representative of popular opinion, and submitted their report to the chair of the SADC organ, President Hichlem of Zambia, I don't know what happened after that. Because I would, I would presume that then the SADC organ would have had to study the report and make a decision or suggestion as to what is, what is to be done. I mean, you remember when the, uh, in the, after the 2008 elections, uh, which were very, very disputed, and then the second round of the presidential elections marked by a lot of violence. Uh, after that, the Zimbabwe parties agreed that really the only way to respond to this reality is that they must come together into a government of national unity. Uh, it was a response to what had happened in the elections. Uh, well, I don't, as I said, that I was very directly involved in those particular processes. I've not been now in, in terms of Zimbabwe, so I can't say this is what I think should happen. But I'm saying in 2008, when the Zimbabweans themselves could see that the elections had not produced a winner, uh, the best thing to do, let's get together as Zimbabweans for five years and see what we can do together. I, and that, that kind of approach, I think, uh, if one says, uh, I'm a leader of the people of South Africa, what must inspire you is not my personal position as ANC president or president of the Republic. When they, I had to leave in 2008, it was to say, what would be in the best interest of the country? Right. The decision of the ANC was wrong. Uh, to say I must live, I knew that, and I said so publicly. They based themselves on a wrong opinion expressed by a judge uh, in a court, and the Supreme Court of Appeal rebuked the judge and said he never should have never said things like that. I knew that. But in the interest of what happens to South Africa, I thought it was best that to say, let's, let's go along with this wrong decision. Uh, because not to have said no, to say I'm not going, would have created an enormous crisis. I'm just saying that I think uh, people are holding political positions. I represent, I lead the people of South Africa. I must act as a leader, same, same as the leaders of the people of Zimbabwe. Uh, what is in the best interest of Zimbabwe in a situation of this kind? That, that's, that's how I would have approached the matter.